Hello? <gasps> What's happening? This has never happened before. No, this has never happened before. <gasps> oh my god. Are we back? What the fuck happened? Because I was like, why am I reconnecting to my chat? Am I back? Am I... Are we live? <laughs> Are we at it? I'm here? Yeah? Okay. You didn't miss anything. Okay. <sighs> I'm just gonna reconnect to my chat. I don't know how long this fucking trial is. By the way. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure our soft-hearted Makoto is capable of that kind of cutthroat behavior. Okay. I'm sure Sayaka realized the same thing, which is why out of all of us, she asked him to switch rooms. Mm hmm. Plus, she was the ultimate pop sensation. So? A totally forgettable kid. Or a national superstar. Who are you more likely to believe? <laughs> she liked us and everything. She said that she liked us. Wait, then you're saying she had this all planned out. Wow, she's a real bitch. If she cause she was like, oh, I loved I've always loved you from afar. Holy shit! Yeah. But in the end, her plan backfired. She launched her attack with the knife, then found herself under attack in turn. That must be when her wrist got broken, and she was forced to drop the knife. The tables were suddenly turned on her, and she died at the hands of the one she planned. <laughs> well deserved. Wouldn't say well deserved. No one deserves this. I mean, she did have a pretty nice motive there. I don't really blame anyone, but I... Yeah, kind of fuck you situation. Just hold on. That can't be true. Oh my god, get over it. Because, because. Hey, hey! You guys have totally derailed the argument. You're being super boring right now. Come on, hurry up and decide who did it. Oh my god. Wouldn't it be awful if I had to punish you all just because you ran out of time? Is it a timed? No way. Oh yeah, we gotta decide who we think did it. <laughs> oh yeah. Makoto, right now you just need to concentrate on figuring out the answer to this mystery. Is Leon. If we can't uncover who murdered Sayaka, it's over for all of us. Leon. It, is it really all over? Obviously I'm committed to finding out who killed her. But what can I do? I mean, as far as clues go, there's nothing left. What is happening? Make your argument. Ha! Oh, treasury Ellie's account. Dying message. Dying message, please. It's easy just to say, hey, decide who did it. But there just aren't any more clues, right? Ugh. Well, there are a lot of clues. There's a lot of clues left. Leon. There still might be one clue left. Sayaka's dying message. Dining? Wait, wh what did you say? Dining. The dying message. She wrote something on the wall behind her. Remember? One, one, zero, three, seven. No. Written in her own blood. <laughs> there must be a clue about the killer hidden in there. Well, before we get too far into that, I need to ask... Celeste, please. Can we really be sure that Sayaka is the one who wrote it? Yes. There's no question that Sayaka wrote that message and I can brew it. Uh, left index finger. Her left index finger had blood on it. Oh my god, it had blood on it. Oh my god, didn't you not investigate the crime scene? <laughs> that could only be because <laughs> she used that finger to write the message. I see. She broke her right wrist during the fight, so she'd have to use her left hand to write. Wow, this is all so, like, overly complicated. Sure. I think we can <laughs> but I love it. it. But still, what the heck do those numbers mean? One, one, zero, three, seven? Hey, Chihiro, you're a computer nerd or whatever. Please. Right? You should know all about numbers and shit. <laughs> Where's Junko? 
dead. Welcome. N no, that's not... Yes, I'm a programmer, but I don't see any kind of meaning in these numbers. Of course. It's because they're not numbers. Oh, yeah, it looks like... Huh? What? What? <laughs> if only we had eyes. No, it's just... I'll look at the numbers, assuming they're not numbers. Not numbers? Then what are they? Do -do 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 two, one, one, look less like two numbers and more... Stop. Ah, you're right. The connecting line is barely there. So I assumed it was 1-1, one, one, but looking at it now, you could also read it as an N. <gasps> really? You might have finally just said something worth a shit. <laughs> I love gray cells are really getting excited now. <laughs> gray cells? What the fuck's gray cell? Zero, three, seven. Doesn't make any more sense than before. Oh shit, I have it auto. Ah! Damn it, it's no use. I just don't know. <gasps> Rotate the image 180 degrees. <gasps> Sayaka died. Hello, code. Rotate it. <gasps> I, I think maybe, maybe I see something. Oh my god. Now oh my god. It. She wrote down the killer's name. Huh? You just shot past the clue part and right on to who did it. Yep. So, whose name did she write? Saiga's dying message reveals the real killer's name. <gasps> Select someone. Oh my god. Where are you? Leon. Here's my answer. The key to solving this mystery was simply to rotate the writing 180 degrees. <gasps> If you turn the message around, it becomes the letters L E O N. L E O N. Or more accurately, Leon. What? What? What the hell are you talking about? It, it's just a coincidence. It's just a bunch of random squiggles that happen to look like my name. <laughs> no, it's not random at all. Super random. She wrote that message on the wall behind her as she was leaning up against it. In that position, she couldn't move to write normally, and had to write upside down as it were. <laughs> oh yeah, it is random. <laughs> as a result, when you look at it standing in front of her, it ends up getting flipped. Try it for yourself if you want. Write something sitting like her, and the letters will be inverted. If you don't think hard enough. <laughs> stretch to me I'm the killer you can't just go and say shit like that if you're not the killer then why did you try to destroy the evidence <gasps> huh you know what I'm talking about right Makoto the evidence Leon tried to get rid of the evidence that Leon tried to get rid of I know what it was hell yeah the burnt shirt peas you mean the burnt shirt piece I found laying on the ground by the incinerator, right? How the fuck do you know that I found that, Kyoko? Hmm? The killer stabbed Sayaka. They must have gotten some of her blood on them. How do you know? And to dispose of the shirt covered in the victim's blood, they threw it into the incinerator. But one piece burned off and got left behind. And the killer didn't notice. If they had, they most certainly would have panicked. Isn't that right, Leon? He's breaking. But is one scrap of fabric enough to conclude that Leon is guilty? Yeah, I mean, Leon's not the only one wearing a white button up. Oh, <laughs> she's Kirigiri now? Is that her last name? Kyoko Kirigiri? 
That, that's <laughs> right. There are plenty of other people here with shirts like She is very smart. With just that one little charred piece, there's no way you can say for sure who it belongs to. You're right. That alone isn't enough. But there are some other points that may reveal the truth. Are you finally starting to understand? The answers to all the riddles are right here. Yeah, I think so. The burnt remains of the bottom up shirt, which the killer wasn't able to get rid of. There's something about it we need to pay attention to in order to figure out who's responsible. Uh how it was disposed of. I got it. If we look closely at how the shirt was disposed of, we should be able to figure out who the killer is. Oh, oh yeah, that's a good point. I, I think I know what you're gonna say. Oh really? You can't reach the incinerator without opening the gate in front of the trash room, right? Yeah, so it's Hifumi, no. And obviously, you wouldn't be able to hit the switch to turn it on, either. You need the key to get in. And the one with the key was the person on cleaning duty. So the killer had to be whoever was in charge of taking care of the trash, right? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> the realization. <laughs> No, that's wrong. There was another way to use the incinerator without being the one on cleaning duty. And that's exactly what proves that Leon is the real killer. Ha. Uh, okay. Let's do this. Oh my god. Fuck it. Oh. The key to the trash room. Whoever was on cleaning duty must have had it, right? So the only one who could get to the incinerator was the person in charge of the trash? And you'd have to get close to the incinerator in order to... Nope. No, that's wrong. Hold on. I think I know how someone could dispose of the evidence without using the trash room key. This is so stupid. But if you can't get past the gate... You couldn't possibly turn on the incinerator, could you? But if you're the ultimate baseball pro... <laughs> yes, you could. Uh. You could use this. Oh. What is it? Some kind of I forgot. Ball? Actually, it was supposed to be a crystal ball, oh. but, uh... but how would you use it? The perfect pitch. The perfect pitch. Throw it. The killer simply took aim at the incinerator switch and threw the ball through a gap in the gate. But then it's also like, how did he throw in the shirt? Like the evidence is like... All they had to do was hit that switch and the incinerator would come to life. But the evidence, the shirt. I still don't understand that. Someone threw that through a gap in the gate? Remember what you said before, Hikumi? Huh? Someone turned the incinerator on? Very strange. I'm quite certain it was off last time I was down here. Perhaps it was the work of a fairy. Kifumi had the key. So the only way the incinerator could have been turned on without his knowledge was because the killer was able to hit the switch without opening the gate. Once they'd gotten the incinerator going, all they had to do was ball up the shirt and toss it in. Oh my god, the shirt as well? Holy shit. How big are the gaps? <laughs> hey, come on. What the hell is this? That's insane. The baseball fairy. All you have to do is look at the scene to know that the killer never actually went inside the trash room. Really? The shards of broken glass, the incinerator left running, the piece of shirt that escaped the fire. Oh, isn't it obvious? If the killer had been on cleaning duty, the evidence would have been taken well, that's true. much more That thoroughly. is true. Wait, wait, no, just hold on. But the distance from the gate to the incinerator has to be at least 30 feet, right? Oh my god, that's why that was important. I thought it was seriously just one of those like, <laughs> you know, like... The pinpoint accuracy oh. needed to throw a glass ball that far and hit something that small. Could someone really I hate this that? part of the song or whatever. That's like, ugh, it scares me. That, that's right. There's no way. It'd be impossible. Difficult, 
Absolutely. Impossible? I don't think so. Because the killer is... It wouldn't have been much of a challenge at all for the killer because... Ultimate Baseball Star. Damn. Because the killer is the ultimate baseball star. Isn't that right, Leon? <laughs> Bitch! Oh my god, Leon! Mm. <laughs> so much sass in it. Target 30 feet away would surely be little challenge for the ultimate baseball star. You, you, you can't be serious. I, I, I'm not the killer. <laughs> These goddamn shipper brains have got it all wrong. I'm telling you. You still won't admit it? Okay, then. Makoto, go ahead and review the incident one more time to make his crime perfectly clear. And with that, we can end this. Okay, I don't want... No. Listen to me! What the hell do you mean, end this? No spoilers. Say what you want, Leon. But all the questions have been answered. And the truth has been revealed. Sorry if you feel that no, you have been... <laughs> treated wrong. I'm sorry. But I felt that it was needed. And I didn't want any more. The closing argument is about to begin. Would you like to hear more? Please. Every case is one last element to bring the class trial to an end. This is the closing argument. Arg argument? Argument. In this phase, you'll give a complete summary of the case. You'll have to reproduce the flow of events from the case in the form of a comic book. How well, however, you'll notice that in the comic, there are a number of pieces missing. It's up to you to complete the comic using the provided truth panels. Also, if you take aim at the missing section and press the left mouse button, holy cow, you'll get a hint that might lead to a breakthrough. No, you didn't yet, but I didn't know if you were, so I didn't want to take any risks, okay? Sorry, but <laughs> that's life. Well then, good luck and have fun. Thank you. What? <gasps> Finished it. Oh, uh, 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 mm, okay. My goodness. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, what happened first? Okay, outside the room. Yes. And she was like... Oh, I don't know. Uh... Uh... Okay, 10 minutes is fine. Whew. Okay, happy you're okay with it. <laughs> I don't want to take any risks. I'm sorry. That's all. But she dropped the knife, yes. Okay, this may be... Uh... She got hit... She gets hit on the wrist. Uh, no, 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 wait, okay. That one. And then he takes it up. Have you? <gasps> it didn't come up. I'm sorry. It didn't say that you did. <laughs> uh. And then she, he was like, okay, sword. Then now she's scared in the bathroom. This is really scary, by the way. This is like a whole other art style. Uh. He wants to open the lock. And now he, it's open. He has the knife now. And then... Um, I don't know. Now she's dead. <laughs> Let's just fill in the others. Uh, ball. Uh... Rolls it. Oh, he. Oh, rolls it. Rolls it. And then that gets left behind. Okay, okay, okay. We have one left. If I haven't done anything wrong, that is. Oh, she typed the name. Okay, uh, done? The killer is you! I think I'd better take one more look back at the case from the beginning. I hope I'm right. Last 
night. The killer went to the room Sayaka was in. In other words, my room. From what we can tell, Sayaka invited that person there intending to kill them. She attacked them with the knife she'd taken from the kitchen earlier. I like this art style. I don't know if I said it. Now I say it again. I like this art style. But then something happened that she wasn't prepared for. They grabbed the fake sword I put in my room and fought. It is, right? I like it. <gasps> During the struggle, a strike from the sword broke Sayaka's right wrist. And that's when she lost her grip on the kitchen knife. Finding herself cornered, Sayaka panicked and ran into the bathroom. The killer went after her, but couldn't get the bathroom door open. What they didn't know was that my bathroom door got stuck easily, and there was a trick to opening it. Sayaka knew about that because I told her, but of course the killer had no way of knowing. So instead, the killer forced the door open, took the kitchen knife, and stabbed Sayaka. But with what strength she had remaining, Sayaka left a dying message. To keep the killer from noticing, she wrote it on the wall behind her. Oh. And with that, all her strength was gone. With Sayaka dead, the killer quickly began destroying the evidence. First, they took off their shirt, which was covered in their victim's blood. Then they took the lint roller in my room and cleaned up the entire area. Who would think of that? They wanted to make sure they got rid of any trace they'd ever been there. Afterwards, the killer headed to the trash room to destroy their bloody shirt. They tried to burn the shirt using the incinerator there. But the trash room was blocked off by an especially sturdy gate preventing access to the incinerator. <laughs> yeah. So he came up with a plan to use Hero's crystal ball, which he left in the laundry room. Why didn't she he throw just throw Sayaka through the incinerator? <laughs> through the gate. <laughs> Done. No one would know. <laughs> I don't know, she's gone. The gap in the gate and hit the incinerator switch. For any normal person, that'd be an impossible throw. But the killer had the confidence to take a shot. And that's <laughs> because the killer was the ultimate baseball star. Leon. The crystal ball, thrown with absolute precision, hit the switch on the incinerator, which then quickly roared to life. Boom. Having destroyed the final piece of evidence, they left the area with, I imagine, a sigh of relief. <laughs> Did you have to add that? But there was one thing they missed. <gasps> Part of the shirt they'd thrown into the fire burnt away and fell out of the incinerator. The killer didn't notice this. And so left behind a piece of indisputable evidence. I mean, even if he didn't notice it, like, what could he do? What could he do to fix it, you know? <gasps> Whoa! <gasps> oh my god! Complete! It would appear that Hero simply forgot his crystal ball in the laundry room. <laughs> yeah, how did they? How did they? <gasps> it would. Oh, he, he did already said that. You went there to try and wash the blood out of your shirt, and that's where you saw it, right? Seeing the ball, 
You thought of a way to take care of everything. So, Leon, do you object to anything that's been said? Do I object? Go, how will he react? Oh, yes, I object. Of course I do. I object, I object, I object. I mean, all of this is just a bunch of stupid theories. You need evidence. Where's the evidence? Um. Without evidence, it's all bullshit. It's bullshit and I refuse to acknowledge it. Well then, I guess this is as good a time as any to present the evidence that proves you did it. Makoto, I believe you're in possession of fun. evidence. I have so many. I declare bankruptcy. I have the evidence? Your first triple time is about to begin. Your first bullet time battle. Whoa! Battle? I will shoot him in the head. <gasps> oh! Sometimes during a clash where your opponent simply won't want to hear what you have to say. <laughs> when this happens, you will engage him in a head to head battle. We like to refer to this as bullet time, aka. During the B2B, you want to destroy your opponent's statement in time with the rhythm. Oh, fuck. Um, match your button presses with each tempo marker as they move across the screen and reach the center. Walk on to opponent's statement. Destroy the statement you unlocked onto with the left mouse button as tempo marked. Uh, I think I understand. Kinda. Tempo up. Keep this going, you'll initiate tempo up. On the slip side, if you keep missing, you'll get a tempo down. Uh. Okay, okay, okay. At this point, you can press the life button to shoot that down with true bullet like any other statement. Okay. Refute. Uh, victorious. Yeah. I, did, I haven't saved in so long. When the killer broke the bathroom doorknob, they didn't use anything from your room to do it. So what did the killer use? Can I save? I'm just very scared. I can't! Okay. What did a kill you use to take apart the doorknob? I refuse to acknowledge you. You're stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Okay. Stupid, 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 okay. stupid, stupid, stupid. <laughs> I have to show indisputable evidence that Leon is the killer. I need to figure it out. Hmm, just look at him. <laughs> Listen to him. I will destroy him in a rhythmic battle. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. It wasn't me! Stupid! You lie! Shut up! Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance! You lie! Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance! It wasn't me! Stupid! You lie! Shut up! Where's your proof? Ah! You kidding me? <laughs> I did it wrong, but I did it good as well. Okay, okay. Uh, continue the debate. Well then, the class trial is officially adjourned. Now it's time to reveal who's the blackened. What? I failed! It would appear that the one with the most votes is Makoto. However, Makoto is not the black and too bad. It looks like the real killer gets to graduate. Congratulations to them. Congratulations. On the other hand, everyone else must now be punished. Is this really it for us? Is it all over? What? What do you say? Want to give it another shot? Yes. I refuse to give up yet. What the fuck? <laughs> oh. No. Mm. When the killer broke the bathroom, so what? I refuse. Okay. I think I know what I did wrong. It's fine. I will we'll do it this time. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. It wasn't me. Stupid. You lie. Shut up. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. You lie. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. It wasn't me. Stupid. You lie. Shut up. 
Where's your boot? You kidding me? Not a chance. You lie. Fuck. Okay. Oh, I did it. Where's your proof? This should prove it. Oh my god, that was scary. I kind of lost it there at the end. The screws on the <sighs> were removed. That was the hardest so far in this game. I wonder what kind of tool the killer used to remove that. Mm. I mean, it had to be a screwdriver, right? Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure the toolkits we got each had one inside. And that must be what he used. There aren't any other tools anywhere. But the toolkit in my room had clearly never been used. That's because the culprit didn't know it was your room. They thought they were inside Kus' room. Only the boys got toolkits, so the killer naturally assumed there wouldn't be one in there. Okay, then whose toolkit did the killer use? His own? Stupid, stupid, stupid. Oh my god. It had to be their very own toolkit. Stupid, 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 stupid! <laughs> Leon, would you mind showing us your toolkit? If I'm right about this, then the screwdriver will show some evidence of being used. Stupid, stupid, stupid! Huh? Huh? They get a sewing kit. And a, a map over the body's uh, vital organs. And if you say you used it for something else, you'll have to explain exactly when, where, and why. And let me say this right now. I lost it isn't an excuse at this point. <laughs> because 12 years old came. Oh my god, he's breaking. <gasps> what is going on? So, you have no rebuttal? Oh my god, he's so happy. Then it would seem we are finished here. <gasps> my points! I got A's! Yay! A B. <laughs> oh well, uh, the last one. I get it. I get it. I did good! Yay! Ninety! Dude, we will gamble. Looks like you've reached your verdict. Then are we ready to cast our votes? Oh yeah. You all have a lever in front of you. He needs to you die. Need to make your selection. Oh my god. Oh, just to remind you all, make triple sure you vote for someone. You wouldn't want to be punished for something so minor, right? Okay, then let's get excited! Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice? Or the dreadfully wrong one? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? <laughs> Hero still votes for me. <laughs> oh, who is Bo Guilty? Oh, this is cute, but it's also horrible. Oh, yay! <laughs> uh oh, looks like you got it right on the money. The black in this case, the one that killed Sayaka, was none other than Leon Kuwara. Oh. Huh? Hey, hold on. Leon. Leon, did you really kill Sayaka? But I don't believe it. You son of, son a, of bitch. a bitch. What the hell is wrong with you? I, I didn't have a choice. It was kill or be killed, which is true. So that's why I killed her first. None of you are any different. One wrong step and you'd be the one standing here. It was complete chance that I it was complete chance that I wound up like this. I was just <laughs> unlucky. That's all. Oh, that's all. He said everything. Hey, come on! Do you expect me to use accept my death? Everything's become clear. The decision we made was right after all. But when I think about that, honestly, I'd be better off if we'd been wrong. Because if what we came up with really is the truth, then that truth is that Sayaka was trying to frame me. But even if that's true, 
I can't say she was wrong. After all, the mastermind. It's all because of that video. Even I couldn't handle what I saw in there. If I was her and the video actually had something to do with me, I can't even imagine. Now we're trapped here with no way out. They're probably waiting for me. Why? I can't afford to be Why? stuck in here. The one thing that was more important to her than anything else, her dreams, her friends. To have to see something like that happen to them and Sayaka. I did whatever it took to reach the, that dream. I mean it. Even some things that weren't so pleasant. Yeah, what the fuck has she done in the past? And that's why Sayaka, for, for the friends that meant so much to her, that's why she betrayed me. So when she said, No matter what happens, please always be there for me. I need you on my side. <laughs> she was lying to me from the very beginning. She was using me. Is that why she talked to me in the first place? I, I guess I'll never know. Because there's nothing I can do to ask her what she was thinking. Once you're dead, that's that. <laughs> Boy howdy, the entertainment industry must sure be terrifying, huh? I mean, to try and kill someone just because of those relationships. She seems so nice and lovely on the outside, but inside, she descended into pure madness. Wh what did you say? I understand, really I do. Yep, yep. You're in utter despair thanks to Sayaka's betrayal, right? Compassion, intimacy, love. The stronger those feelings, the stronger the despair than when they collapse. Stop screwing with us, this is all your fault. Sayaka's been forced to do something like that. It's being forced. All of it, everything. It's all your fault. Suddenly in a frenzy, I lunged at Monokuma. But... That's enough. As angry as I was, Kyoko latched onto my arm without hesitation. Her grip was like iron. Strong enough, I was sure it would leave a bruise. Oh, she's a robot. <laughs> if you really want to make her enemies pay for what they're done, they've done, you need to let it go for now. Damn it. Ah, that was a close one. I thought for sure you were going to give me a good walloping. Walloping. Just barely avoid the punishment you did. Yes, indeed. Now then. Since you so magnificently revealed the ident identity of the killer during the class trial, the blackened Leon Kawada will receive his punishment. Pun punishment? You mean execution? Wait a second! I didn't have a choice. I had to kill her. Yeah, that's it. I was just protecting myself in the heat of the moment. It was self-defense. Okay? How exactly was it self-defense? When you forced your way into the bathroom, did you or did you not use your way very own toolkit? After she shot herself in the bathroom, you went out of your way to head back to your own room. Then you came all the way back, broke into the bathroom and killed her. Am I wrong? Do you, understand? you had any number of chances to stop what you were doing, but you chose not to. Holy shit, yeah, he fucking went and got his toolkit. My god. Is it not because you had an unclouded intent to commit murder? So that's no, that's why... not... Stop it. I've had enough of this. Oh. oh, are you sure? You were closer to her than anyone, were you not? He killed your precious Sayaka, do you understand? I can't say Leon is solely to blame. Of course, I don't plan on blaming Sayaka either. Because... Because the one to blame is him. So, huh? If it weren't for you, this never would have happened to Sayaka or Leon. We shouldn't be fighting each other. We should be fighting against the one who put us in this situation. The mastermind. I'm uh oh, did you awaken to your sense of justice? Hey, well, um... it just so happened that there's nothing more unethical than an unwavering sense of justice. After all, it's people with that sort of mentality that per perpetuate war all over the world. Hmm. Is that the kind of justice that's awakened within you? Just shut up. Hmm. Okay, well, anyway, more importantly, Chaos, let's hurry up and get to what Chaos. everyone's been waiting for. The punishment! I'm begging you! Please, don't do this! No more begging, no more excuses. You must pay the penalty for breaking the rules. Society demands it. Stop, please. Now then, I prepared a very special oh. punishment. For Leon Kawada, the ultimate baseball star. No, 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 no. Oh. Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time. No. Now it's at. Oh. 
Game over. Leon has been found guilty. Time for the punishment. Oh. Yeah, like 3D. Not anymore, but it was. Well, well I kind of, yeah. What the fuck? Oh my god, are those baseball, you know, yeah, yeah, exactly. <gasps> they have to stand there and watch. Well, they don't have to, but they all are. Oh, wow. The 1000 blows. Oh. Oh, look at him go. Holy shit. Yeah, he did hate the sport. That's true. Which makes it even worse in a sense. Wow. What we saw, that was the true face of despair. I mean, if we can't call it that, what else could we call it? Extreme. Uh. Man, my adrenaline's pumping right out of control! <laughs> What's going on? I, I, I can't, can't take, take it. It's okay, she says that in herself. Do we really have to keep doing this? I just can't take it. Well, hey, if you don't like it, <laughs> all you gotta do is swear to cut all ties with the outside world and accept living here forever. But that's only if every single one of you can get on board with that. <laughs> Damn you! Man, fuck you! Why the fuck are you doing all this evil shit to us? Evil? You make it sound like I'm some dark, awful, secret society type of guy. Or in this case, a dark, e awful, secret society type of bear. Well. Um, so why are you putting an upstanding young citizen like me through such a grueling ordeal? Wait, um... It seems like you're trying to use common sense to make sense of something that doesn't make sense. <laughs> That's like trying to put a mile on a scale. I just don't think it's possible. Um... Hey, um, I don't think that what you're saying and what I'm saying quite fit together. You piece of shit. I don't know who you are, but I'm gonna pound your ass into the ground. <laughs> you must really hate me to get so angry, huh? But if you do that, you're barking way up the wrong tree. Yeah. What happened happened because more than one of you decided you wanted to get out, right? No matter how much time passes, you can't cut free of your regrets from the outside world. You're to blame. <laughs> of course we can't cut free of the outside world. Being trapped in this insane place. Hmm, hmm you're trapped, are you? Well, I'm sure once you learn all the mysteries of the school, your thinking will change for sure. You'll think, boy, isn't it so wonderful how we all get to live here forever. What, does this mean? what are you trying to say? Hey. I feel like there's some deeper meaning hidden in there. Just like before. Well, anyway, still. let's get to the black and punishment. That's what everyone is waiting for after all. Hey. When you say everyone, who exactly are you referring to? <laughs> Sorry, I said everything I've got to say. I need to save some of the fun for later. <laughs> and just like that, he was gone. He left us there, overwhelmed by a nightmare turned reality. Even after he was gone, we stood there forever, unable to move. Actually, no, it wasn't that long, I think. Everyone just lost their sense of time. We were all too scared. Scared of being alone. No one even tried to speak. Their faces were stone, their voices dead. But it was in that moment. Just a second. Makoto, can I talk to you for a second? Yes. She moved in closer and whispered into my ear. <laughs> Makoto. Before we head before we head back, there's something I want to talk to you about. It's about Sayaka, isn't it? 
It's about... <laughs> I'm surprised you figured it out. Listen. I told you before the class trial started. You had to figure out the mystery of this case yourself. You wanted me to realize that Sayaka betrayed me by myself, didn't you? The thought never even crossed my mind. I feel like such a fool, becoming such an easy target like that. It's true. Sayaka meant, no double, meant to double cross you. That's a fact that you can never change. But even till the very end, she wasn't sure of her decision. That's why, as she lay dying, she was thinking of you. She was thinking of me? You can just you can't just say something like that. I mean there's no way you can know that. Only Sayaka would know for sure, and we can't ask her now. However, Even if you can't ask her, you can infer it, don't you think? Her final thought was how she could protect you. What? So the fact that she used her last ounce of energy to leave her dying message proves it. If she didn't care what happened to you, she never would have left that message. Well, maybe she just wanted to get back at the person who had killed her. Certainly. That certainly won't possibility. But I don't think that's what it was. Anyway. She was uncertain. She wasn't sure she could kill someone or deceive you. Which is why her plan failed. Her hesitation attracted failure. Right. It's almost ironic when you think about it. Why are you telling me all this? Because you're the kind of person who can overcome this. Because you can move past the depths of your friends, Sayaka and Leon, and keep moving forward. Correct. Without someone like that, the others would never be able to break free of such a disparate situation. Move past their deaths? That's... I could never do that. No. I'm going to carry them with me for the rest of my life. How could I possibly move past something like that? Leon, Sayaka, I'll carry them with me forever. I'll carry their memories with me wherever I go. So instead of forgetting them, you're choosing the hard road. <laughs> well, I have high expectations for you. As she said that, she revealed the smallest smile. Hey. <laughs> By the way, I have to admit, I'm curious. How did you know I wanted to talk to you about Sayaka? Oh, well. I'm psychic. Oh! Mm. What? Huh? <gasps> Kidding. I just have pretty good intuition. Mm. Chapter 1 to survive. Well, we did survive. 15. Oh my god. Wow, dude. Three people died today. That's insane. The despair bat. Oh, no. Yes, please. Are we the ultimate copycat? Okay, I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna stop there. Oh. For today. That will be... Have to be it. <laughs> We've been going for some time. Um, now how do I quit? Uh. Okay. Okay. Yes. <laughs> The Wawas are back. The calming Wawas. <gasps> oh, so much happened. My god. <laughs> oh. It was nice to dream. On a Saturday. <laughs> Maybe there will be a stream tomorrow. I haven't planned on it. But there might be one. But don't expect one, okay? <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. But yeah. Otherwise, vacation time. And I hope all of you have a great summer. If I don't see you in a while. Um. Oh, no, wait. I want to take this thing off. What is it? It's the sound alerts. Boop. <laughs> Oh, I've been going for a long time. I This will be split into two, I think. Uh, because of the outage, but yeah. Um, 
I will try to be active on Instagram instead. <laughs> I'll even post some things or like stories maybe. Stories is more my thing than posts, as you may have noticed. But I'll do my best so you don't forget about me. <laughs> I won't forget about you. <gasps> no. <laughs> yes. Uh, but thank you all for watching today. Have an amazing summer and a good night and everything. And I am available on Discord if it is anything. If it's anything. And no, whatever. I'm not dead. Fucking fly. Get out of my face. Uh, <laughs> thank you again. And I will see you next time. Please. <laughs> okay. Bye bye now. Bye-bye. Hey, doll.